majestic mountain scenery. A stone throw away from the Brecon Beacons National Park, the next stop on our tour is the village of Hirawayan in South Wales. If you wander into Hirawayan's lush green pastures at the head of the Sinon Valley, you'll find a textbook Welsh village, a community forged by the rugby club, the chapel and the pub. But there's a certain something that sets it apart. Just ask Bumper the Bard, who's always ready to sing an ode to the village he loves. I've lived here since I was born. I've lived around the country and I've got to say that I've returned. The characters and the people you find are unique. If you go back in years, there was people called Will Five Bricks. And why was he Will Five Bricks? Because he, lived five, he laid five bricks a day. Obviously, he must have laid more. And there's somebody called Danny Blackcock because he had a black chicken. Like the true poet he is, Bumper has the perfect way of describing the spirit of the village. It's like a cake without all the ingredients. You, know, you need an egg, okay, it's soft, but then you also need you know, your hands, which are hard, to make it. It's a vision all the locals would recognise. Visit any of Hirawayan's pubs and you'll hear the regulars echoing Bumper's enthusiasm. If you live in a village where there isn't a great deal going on, anything that breaks the norm is greeted with you know, glee and enthusiasm and you know, it's a huge event. Come on, neighbours, all together. Village life in Britain since time immemorial has been enlivened by bank holidays. Days in the year when the grind of normal life is briefly cast aside as the village comes together for festivity and celebration. This bank holiday weekend in Hirawayan, it's no different. I've seen a few bank holidays where it has broken out there and everybody's fighting there. The one bank holiday tradition the people of Hirawayan prefer to fighting is the annual day trip to the seaside. We're away to put school tomorrow. We'll have a cracking day out tomorrow. We'll all sit on the beach for a couple of hours. We'll go and have a few drinks together and we'll have a... and we're all expecting a very good day. So go crack. We'll see tomorrow if we're going down there. You get a few headers on there, like, in there, but... Uh, and don't go smoking with them. It's 8.30 in the morning, and as the world wakes up, the villagers are enjoying a nourishing breakfast while they wait for the bus. The holiday spirit is infectious. <laughs> the big day out is about to begin, and by the time the villagers are on the bus, the anticipation reaches fever pitch as they contemplate the day of traditional seaside fun that lies ahead of them. I might have a joint, this one I'm gonna <laughs> And a big glass of uh, cider, <laughs> and two rods, yes? Yeah. Put the kids on the beach, we'll be going in the pub. <laughs> this, this is for call. <laughs> we know entering. <laughs> Paul's got, what are you looking at? The last time you knew was Pamela. I'm gonna have a ball today, no? Porth Call's got everything a Hirawayan villager could want from a day at the seaside. Empty beaches, inviting sea, top-notch amusements and tasty cuisine. The perfect place to come and enjoy the sea air. It's not bad. It's smelly, but it's not bad. There's something for everyone. So Mary, Jason and Michael have decided to stand outside the pub and wait for it to open. Ah, oh, this woman right in South Wales. What's the things like no. that people have? That's South Wales, England. No, I'd rather fuck her than fight her, right? And I would. Hey, Ash, no. Right, look at the state now, I wouldn't like to fuck her, do you mean? I can't the bastard. Taking in the refreshing Atlantic breeze, Tony and his family find themselves strangely alone. What are we going to do today? A couple of hours on the beach now. Take the kids to the fair, and then the grown ups there can chill out there in the, one of the pubs out there. Better than me stuck in the house, isn't it? Huh? Here in Porth Call, there are exotic delights unthinkable in Hirawayan. We have the two of them. Charge your pipe, man, right? To stroke the fucking python over there. They can stroke his python for nothing. One second. You, I'm going to fucking python you, you're fucking minge you. I'm going to shut up. Tony and his family have cracked open their picnic. I don't like the sun. I told the sun to go away, but they're on plenty of wind. 
Lovely and fresh. With the pub still closed, Ginger passes the time by showing off his school art project. Fortunately, the Buccaneer Inn opens, and the bank holiday booze up can begin in earnest. The villagers have travelled over 50 miles to drink in this pub. It's a welcoming home from home. The afternoon wears on, and after sampling the local delicacies, it's finally time to get back on the bus. Mary bids a fond farewell to Paul's call. And on the journey home, it's time for some traditional Welsh choral practice. It's been a long but happy day. Safely home, the villagers slip straight back into their normal lives. The tough spirit of this village goes wherever its people go. Who can express it better than Bumper, the bard of Aruayan? There's no glory about living near wine. The glory is the fact that you live in Irvine.